first year here and uh, it's a bittersweet. Um, it is not the way we wanted it to end, but we make the best of it. So I'm grateful for all the years here and the wonderful education the kids got, spiritually as well. And I don't like goodbye, so it's just saying, how do you feel tonight? Although we don't have an actual ceremony, there was no prom, the, this is made up for it somewhat. But it's really, really nice. I'm really, I'm glad I have my sunglasses on because you can't see that, you won't be able to see the tears. I'm very choked up right now. Thank you very much. I, I love this school so much. A word that you'd like to share today? Yes, I, I want to thank all the teachers and of course our God for giving us such a beautiful day and such a beautiful day of celebration for the class of 2020. I'm, I'm, our family's very grateful for this special occasion um, and it's, it's a wonderful way to at least give the class of 2020 some type of recognition for their hard work. It's definitely been a challenging year for them, but they've come through and there's no better way than to celebrate them than like today. Is, is there anything you would like to share, either to your family or to your old classmates? Um, this, this is all a very nice experience and like I couldn't thank the school enough. Uh, you know, we lost a lot of opportunities like prom and all well, activities like prom and graduation, but I feel like this makes up for it, you know? So yeah. Well, I hope you know how much you're loved. I and mean, one and one final thing, I want to thank all the teachers and staff and all the sisters for making this such a wonderful four years for our family. I'm lucky enough to have one more year with uh, Archbishop Coleman Carroll, and I couldn't have asked for a better choice of a high school.